Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be making a nutcracker for Christmas, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make a curved line like this. This is going to be the top of our nutcracker's hat. Now we're going to make two slightly slanted lines coming down and then a straight line coming across. At the bottom here of this shape, we're going to make two lines coming out, small lines coming down, and then we're going to close that up. Now let's do some decoration inside this hat. If you can think of some decorations that you'd like to put in there, go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a circle here at the top. I'm going to put some circles here on the sides. And then I'm going to put a ribbon across. It's going to be a curved ribbon. And then down here, I'll put like a little crown type shape. That's going to be the hat of my nutcracker. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make his face. So I'm going to make a curved line and a curved line. And then this is a little bit tricky, but I'm going to make his face before I close up the bottom. So I'm going to come back up here and make an eye and another eye and then some eyebrows. Remember eyebrows create expression. So if you want your nutcracker to look surprised, you'll put your lines this way. If you want him to look a little bit more serious, you put them this way. So I want mine to look a little bit more serious. So I'm going to put his eyebrows like this. Now I'm going to move down to his nose. So I'm going to make a shape that looks like this, almost like a teardrop. And then underneath that, I'm going to make a mustache. Underneath the mustache, I'm going to make a beard that looks like this. So it's just two curved lines. And then inside this shape right here, I'm going to make some teeth. So I'm going to make two straight lines and then lines coming down like this. Now it's time for me to close up the bottom of the head of my nutcracker. So I'm going to make some lines going across and then I'm going to come out a little bit like this, come down and go over, come down and go over the other way. Now I'm going to make my nutcracker's body. So I'm going to come down with slanted lines. Let me show you what I mean. I come down and I come down, but I don't want my lines to touch. This is going to be his waist. I want to make a straight line at the bottom. And then I want to make another line coming out this way and out this way and then close those up. Now let's put a little bit of decoration here on this part of his uniform. So I'm going to make a line here coming out this way, another line coming out this way, and another line. And then I'm going to put some dots at the end of those lines. All right, so now I'm going to finish up the bottom part of my nutcracker. I'm going to put the bottom part of his clothing down here. So I'm going to make a slanted line and a slanted line and then a curved line like this. Now I'm going to make his legs with his boots. So I'm going to make some really straight lines here, straight as you can get them. There we go. And then I'm going to put some bands right here. And then I'm going to put some buttons four or five buttons. And now I'm going to put a curved line here at the bottom. These are going to be his feet. So I make a straight line, a straight line, and a straight line. Let me do that again. Straight line, straight line, and straight line. Those are going to be his boots. 
Now I'm going to go back up to his arms and his shoulders. So let me show you how I'm going to make those. So from this corner area, I'm going to come up and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to go about the same length as this waist. So go up and come down just like that. Now I'm going to come over and come over and then come down and come down. You see how I did that? All right. Now let's put a little cap on his shoulder here at the top. And then down here, what we're going to do is we're going to make some cuffs. So the way that we make cuffs is we come out a little bit more on each side. We make a slanted line. And then we close that up at the bottom. And then for his hands, those are just going to be some semicircles like this. There we go. Let's put a little bit of buttons right here. Now, at this point, if there's anything else that you'd like to make on your Nutcracker, go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a backdrop for my Nutcracker. So I'm going to start up here at the top and I'm going to make some curtains because this Nutcracker is going to be performing on stage. So I'm going to start at the very top of my piece of paper and I'm going to make a curve line down like this. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in just a little bit like this and come in just a little bit like this. So these are going to be curtains. At the top of my nutcracker on the very top, I'm going to make some more curtains. So I'm just kind of making some big U's. And then I'm going to add some detail to my curtains. The way that I make detail is I just fill in with a few more lines. So I filled in the top lines and then I fill in these lines. If they're not perfectly straight, that's okay. Maybe one more here, one more here. And then I'm going to come down with some curved lines here as well. There we go. Now it kind of looks like our nutcracker is standing or floating in the air, right? So what I'm going to want to do is I want to put him on a stage. So I'm going to make a line here, jump over his leg, make another line, jump over and make another line. And then if I want to make some lines coming down this way, so it looks like he's standing on a wooden stage, I can do that as well. And then if you'd like to add anything to the background right here, you can do that as well. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'll see you next time.